friends, my friends! There is a slight amount of smoke, uh, but probably because this thing hasn't run in a very, very long time. So, uh, it's not overheating right now. Let's just uh, leave it running, idling, and uh, see where it goes from now. Not a really good sign, is it? I'm uh, fairly alarmed here. It's not getting any better. So while I was off camera, I uh, just basically checked all the electricals um, linking to the fuel pump. I checked the connections to the relay, to the fuse, uh, cleaned a couple connections, and then reworked the little cable that uh, me and Jeffrey uh, did the first time we started it because I think that was the main problem. Uh, but today I think the main problem was the fact that the, the engine hasn't been running for more than six months. So probably we had to work a lot so that the fuel would make it to the engine. So what I did is I just turn on and off the ignition a lot of times because every time you turn the ignition on the fuel pump is working for I think five or ten seconds. So I turned it multiple times and every time I was trying to crank it, I put my foot all the way down and that was actually making it burp. And took like 10 tries and then boom, came alive again. So engine is running, idling perfectly as always. And uh, we'll see if it overheats, but the radiator is definitely leaking. So now the next thing is to know if we can pull it from beneath the engine bay or if we really have to dismantle the whole front end, which seems like a lot of work. So, uh, let's find out. Alright, so, the engine is still spitting a lot of that uh, rusty water, which means that we actually are cleaning the inside. Because I flushed, I flushed the engine a couple times already, like three times. And the water is still coming like really rusty and shitty, so that's a good thing. We need to clean it and clean it again. Well, we just got foam now. So you guys are gonna tell me if this is really bad or not. But look at that. Look at that. Yummy. Very yummy. Do you guys seem to have a head gasket in? Press 1 to tell yes, 2 to say no, 3, 4, I don't give a shit, just get your fucking army done already. up a little bit. I think we should shut the engine down now before it uh, actually overheats and destroy my shoes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. side of that. It's just twisting. So the, I think we have to get a ratchet or something something on the back side. It's just twisting. There's no it's I'm not getting anywhere. Yeah, I don't it doesn't act like it's backing off. I was hoping there was just a clip there and we could maybe it's coming off. Maybe it's just hard as hell. Oh, it's actually coming out. 
Awesome. Something actually goes right on the RV today. Is, uh, it's the easy part is putting yeah. it back together is the hard part. <laughs> I know. It takes you 10 minutes to smash the roof in. It takes two or years to put it back together. Special credits to you know who. Hey, let's destroy the cabinet. Ah, it doesn't take much to build a cabinet. <laughs> it's always easier when somebody else does it. Oh no. We've been laying under the RV for the better part of an hour uh, trying to figure how to remove the radiator from the front or from below. We're still not sure about that so we're gonna just try to disconnect the radiator. Um, what's the name of this radiator by the way? The, the, the condenser for the air conditioner. Part of the, the condenser is this little part. I know, part of the, the air conditioning. Yeah, unit. well, it's in the air conditioning uh, radiator. Uh, held by two bolts, and hopefully, when this is done and if we can get movement, we will try to unbolt the cross member that holds the radiator from below, push it forward, disconnect the shroud, and if everything goes well, we can maybe just drop the radiator. We'll see. The whole thing's loose. The whole thing moves. Nice. So I think this is bolted to that, but those other two bolts don't mean anything. It's moving. So I think these are the only two so that are holding. The, so just the other one, but without a. Well, we have to get without a socket. We're screwed. Without a socket. No, well, we don't need to move all that. If my theory is right, we don't need. We don't need to touch that. We'll just push as far as we can. The. the what pull this out and then push the cross member? But I think it's a box that the radiator sits in. Yeah. Well, how do we get it out of the box? Well, no, I told you there's like that much clearance on the top of the box, so we just put it up, put the cross member, and then let it fall. That's, okay. That's the only way I can see, and if that doesn't work, then we have to undo everything. But what we do, trying to do this, will be will have to be done anyways, so it's not time wasted. Well, it's time. I mean, I could probably get the wrench in there, but it would be easier with a socket. We should also tell the people that there was a mobile mechanic that was supposed to be doing this, but he didn't show today, that's why we're curious. That's loose. You can pull that all the way. Uh, well, it looks like it's can still. You, can you pull it more? I can't. We're still got this in the way. I'm wondering where those are. Is there a bolt down here? What's uh? What's, what's, hold, what's holding it? What's, pre what's preventing it from going further? Well, it looks. There's nothing. Well, no, this bracket here is connected down there. If that bracket fell away, this whole thing would move. No, we don't, we don't need to go that far. We, don't, we just need to push that as far as we can against this. But then we need to disconnect the cross member. Well, we need, to be able, was, uh, we need to be able to lift that up to get it out of that cross member at the bottom because it won't move. Remember, it's sitting no. in the cross member. Yeah, no. Uh, this will slide with the cross member because it's inside the cross member. Right, what but we that's going to lift is the radiator itself. Want to prevent the radiator from? I, I, I've never torn one of these apart. I've done a bazillion other mechanical jobs, so it's not like it's brain surgery here. But I think if we lift this up and out of that bracket down there, it allows us to get the radiator out of because it's in a box. The radiator is in a metal. Yeah, the box is still there. 
So I know, but it has to slide out of the box. Yeah, the box mean. doesn't move. The box doesn't come out. The box stays. Right? I'm sure. Uh, I don't know. This is my first radio on this one. Mm. Well, my theory only works if uh, we can actually get the cross member to slide forward. If the box doesn't move, then the cross member won't follow. A couple grenades we can get, put it in the front end here, and just let them go. Let's try to unhook the cross member. Okay, see so what happened. Underneath the coach we go. <laughs> oh, goodness. Maybe it's metric. Well, that's standard. Broke this one. <laughs> there's your the socket. So where's the adapter? What do we do with that? All right. So now Dalian just broke something else. Right? Mechanics tools. So. All right. Well, we need better craftsmen or husky or one of them. Cause <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna go and ask for my money back. I'm gonna be like, that's crap, dude. We just used it for 10 minutes. Right. Yeah, these these are these are not gonna come out easily. They're all rusty. So now what? Dinner time. Right? Dinner time. I'm thinking. At least we tried. Do you have better circuits at home? I do. I have an entire socket set at home. I just don't want to drive all the way back to Honey to be. Yeah. All right, leave it. Let's leave that for tomorrow. All right. Let's see if we can break something tomorrow. <laughs> it's crazy there for tonight. Stay tuned. <laughs>